Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use your iPad as a document camera inside of Zoom. So let's get started. Option number one is for Mac or Windows users, and that's to share your iPad wirelessly to your computer. To get started, click the Share Screen button at the bottom of your screen. Next, select iPhone, iPad via AirPlay. And then click Share. You may see a message on your screen that says a plugin is required to share your screen. Click Install to install the plugin. When the plugin is installed, follow the instructions on the screen to connect your iPad to your computer, making sure that your iPad is connected to the same Wi Fi as your laptop. To connect to your iPad, swipe down from the top right hand corner of your screen to reveal the control center. Then tap screen mirroring and tap on the word zoom next to the name of your computer. When your iPad is connected, you will see a check mark next to the name of your computer. Your iPad will also appear on the screen for the rest of the participants to see. Next, tap on the camera app to open the camera so that everybody can see what it is you want to show on your Zoom call. To stop sharing, simply go back to Control Center on your iPad, swipe down from the top right hand corner, select Screen Mirroring, and then you can hit Stop Mirroring or use the Stop Share button inside of Zoom to stop your screen share. Option number two is just for Mac users, but it allows you to share your iPad screen by connecting your iPad to your laptop with a cable. The advantage of this option is that it tends to be a little bit more stable than a wireless connection. You can always be sure that your iPad will be displayed on the screen, whereas with a Wi-Fi connection, you are sometimes prone to losing the connection. It doesn't happen very often, but it does happen. So here's how to do it on a Mac with a cable connected to your laptop. You come down, as before, to the Share Screen button and you choose iPhone, iPad via cable and click Share. You will then see a screen like this prompting you to connect your iPad to your laptop with the charging cable that comes with your iPad. And then on your iPad screen, you'll see a dialog box asking you to trust this computer. You have to hit trust before your iPad will appear on your Zoom call. Once connected, the iPad will appear on the screen of your Mac and will be shared with everyone in the Zoom call. You can then open the camera app and begin to show wherever you need to show as if the iPad was a document camera. Once you are done, simply click the stop share button on the Zoom controls to return to your Zoom call. And that's it. A couple of quick ways to share your iPad and use it as a document camera inside of Zoom. 